If you want to make your next three website more SEO friendly, then this video is for you. In this video, we are going to see how we can make our next three website more SEO friendly. We'll be seeing how we can add dynamic sitemap, how we can add robot.txt. End of this video, you will be able to make your next website SEO friendly that can grow your business to the next level. So watch till the end and I hope you'll learn a things or two about SEO today. Before starting the video, if you have not subscribed the channel yet, then it's the right time to subscribe. And also, please do check out our Discord server. So if you have not joined our Discord server yet, then you are missing out a lot of things. So please do consider joining the Discord. So let's get into the video. I'll start off by going to my project directory and then I will clone one of my previous project which I, I have done in the YouTube. So you can also clone it. The link will be in the description. So just write git clone and paste the GitHub URL. Once we are done, we'll CD into our directory. And now we'll open it in our favorite code editor, which is VS code. And let's install the dependency. So all our dependencies are done. And after running, you will see something like this. So there is a problem. You have to add the environment variable. So I'll quickly go to and create a .env file where I have to put the API URL, which will be my WordPress website root URL. And you can also see that in env.example file. Once that is done, save your project and open it up on your browser and you will see all the posts working perfectly. The single page will also work. Now let's check the SEO. So as you can see, there are a lot of missing things. For example, robot.txt, uh, the canonical URL, all of that would be fixed very soon. So what we are going to use today is a package called SEO kit and it is officially listed in Next website. So we are going to just quickly install it. So to install it, open up your code editor and then write yarn add and then the package name as a dev dependency once that is done we have to extend it with the uh, package once that is done uh, we have to add some environment variable for the package to work, for example, site name, site description, and language. So these are all meta tags will be added automatically in your page. If you want to change it, you can change that by going to the page level. But before we have to add a component provided by the package. And you can see we are getting some errors. I know why we are getting this error because our next version is actually outdated. So what we'll do, we'll quickly upgrade our next version by running npx nuxi upgrade. So once that is done, make sure you have the SEO kit component in your app.view file or in your layout or anywhere in the page. It will work. After doing that, you will be able to access your sitemap.xml uh, file in your root. So sitemap.xml would be the URL because we are using it in dev mode. That's why we have to uh, use the preview version. But in your production, you can see your sitemap.xml. Uh, so as you can see, we have our sitemap file. So now let's build the project and check if you are getting the sitemap in production. So I'll just run yarn build and yarn start. And if you remove the preview now, you can see all our dynamic URL has been added to our sitemap.xml. Isn't it great? Now let's check for the robot.txt. But before that, let's check our SEO score in our uh, plugin. So as you can see, we have the title, description, URL, canonical, all the tags, all the possible SEO meta tags has been added automatically by that plugins. And we can also have the robot tags, 
uh, the keywords and if you open the robot.txt you can see uh, it's present in our website which is which was not there in your default Nuxt installation so that's how guys that's how you can uh, make your Nuxt website more SEO friendly and I hope this video helped you making your Nuxt app more SEO friendly I will meet you in the next one till then stay blessed stay subscribed bye